So in this video, we're going to look at some more tools and important rules uh, regarding power series that will eventually help us to do the um, solution methods for solving differential equations using power series. So the first of these very important uh, tool necessary is the understanding of term-wise differentiation of a power series. So uh, let's first, uh, once again, write a power series down here. And what we're going to do is the question we need to ask is, what is f dash in this case? So basically, if we go over here, for instance, if we uh, want to find out f dash x, okay, so what will happen is, uh, so we'll say f dash x. Let's ignore this for a moment and let's see term by term. So the derivative of this, 0, plus the derivative of this is c1, plus the derivative of this is 2c2x, okay, plus the derivative of this is 3c3x squared plus dot dot dot. And that means that what's happening is we can see the pattern here is basically ncnx to the n minus 1 as expected, right? And if we rewrite this uh, down as a series, uh, that will turn out to be just to make sure you understand this is ongoing it's an infinite series so we can easily clean it up and say well f dash in this term is then ncn xn minus 1 now this is essentially the concept of term wise uh, differentiation of a power series notice a couple of things that the counter has changed from n equals 0 to n equals 1 okay because if we keep it at zero, this becomes negative power, and which does not exist in the power series. Because look, one term is gone, so we are one term less. That makes sense, okay? So if it was a second derivative, okay, second derivative, we expect it to be f double dash of x, for instance, equals uh, n equals two to infinity, okay? And then you'll have n into n minus one into c n x n minus two. Okay, and it will continue in that manner. So that's basically term-wise uh, differentiation of a power series. And in the next video, we're going to look at actually how this we use this idea in solving uh, differential equation using the power series method. So we'll actually look at formally now the power series method in the next video. Thank you so much. We'll stop here.